what's up guys it's Lando Trace and you can anyways I have been watching a lot in the um, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of videos about ASMRs and I thought maybe I should actually try it too by the way I'm very sorry for the bad quality of this camera I'm using my computer I'm, what do you call it? I'm using my PC camera not my yeah I'm just what do you call it I'm just I'm also using my uh, Also using this, my cell phone. Yeah, shit, right. Anyways, this is my ASMR video. What I'm gonna eat is in and out because I just came back from class. Had a final. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Mother fucked my ass up in the ass. <laughs> you guys are thinking, yes, dude, you gotta stop, oh, jeez, okay, just getting some ketchup, plus it's like 10.23 p.m., but hey, Jesus, sorry, now, number one, I'm not gonna do what those fat people do, like, you know, combine fries and, you know, eat it and stuff. I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna eat Mother fudge balls in the butthole. Kiss my butts. Sorry. It's gonna... Sorry, guys. I had to fix my camera. I always hate this. terrible. Anyways, um, doing okay. I have no idea what to do for this kind of stuff. Maybe just eat when they have a microphone. Then yeah, you guys would have heard. You guys would have heard every crunch, every munch, every whoosh, 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 like that. But yeah, um. Basically, what we're going to talk about is uh, what I've been doing. <coughs> Sorry. So what I've been doing, basically, I have been drawing a lot. I have been doing my homework. <sighs> and I know what you guys are thinking. What kind of homework are you doing? If only I could have just showed you, showed you my uh, stuff. But what I'm going to show you is my... Okay, hold on. Let's try not to lose my mind. Getting this sketchbook out of my bag. Shit. Okay, slowly here. Switch. Excuse me. Hold on. I'm gonna be opening up my Pandora's box. Secrets. Secret part of Dollar Ronnie sketchbook. Bad. It's actually bad for me to talk when, I'm, when my mouth is full. Been drinking water the whole day. Ah, 
This is what I'm working on. I know you guys can barely see it. Just want to keep it in place. Basically, it's a bat it's a battle scene. I've been working on for my character. And what he's showing over here. Shoot real good. What he's saying here, Shigoka, over here, it sets on the bottom, the one in parentheses that says charge. And I know what you guys are thinking, is that like, a, are you trying to make up um, like a language or something, or like, wait, are you trying to make up like Japanese words and shit? No, basically, uh, basically the language, that's not Japanese, uh, it's a language I'm working on. I call it, uh, <coughs> I call it Vadra Vadra no Kamui, or what about Vadra Kamui, and it's actually a uh, it's actually a language. My character, the one in the one with blue hair, speaks, and basically he speaks all kinds of different languages. He speaks over he speaks over two hundred and sixty three. 263 languages and and uh, what do you got sorry so and some of them are related to um, and some of them are related to the languages from this from here English Japanese Chinese Philippine uh, Tagalog Ger uh, German Dutch Swedish Finland Thai uh, um, Viet um, Taiwanese Latin, Enochian, what else? Uh, cuneif cuneiform, which is basically the first, which is basically the first hieroglyphics. Sumerian, Egyptian, and um, and he can also and what God and he and he can also and what God he and he can also and he can also like speak like um, like words used by demigods, demigods, gods. Goddesses, the tribunals, leviathans, leviathans, uh, nephilims, angels, Sanskrit, whatever, all that stuff, and including the Tufu. Fine, fine. Yeah. Yeah. His story is about basically he is a fallen pantheon. That's the title I'm going to call it, fallen pantheon. And I, what I got, and I'm working on the story. Working on the story. And basically, basically, the story is about a uh, like a very, a very lost, a very lost pantheon who was not from here in this world. He was from, he was from another, he was from another realm where there are where where there are all kinds of gods and goddesses. They create, and they create, and yeah, they create and move on, mm -hmm. create, destroy, all that kind of stuff. And basically, um, basically, he is basic. He was a he was a general. He was a general for a for for a king for a kingdom. He he is living or living in, and the kingdom he is living are called. Is the kingdom of, of Anarian. Anarian. It's a place where what do you call it? It's a place where, like, it's a bit Mandarin. It's a place where. Uh, sorry. It's a place where, basically, both Western cultures and like something that involves uh, something that involves civilization, like English. English, he, English, like English, like like Great Britain, that kind of stuff. Great Britain, Scotland, Great Britain, Scotland, Greece, Rome, Latin, Europe, Europe, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, uh, per Persia, Prussia, 
Persia, Prussia, and what else? And uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I think the Western stuff. Yeah. And basically, their lifestyle there is that you can't take like it's a it's a whole big it's a whole big country it's a whole big country of, a, of the western of the western side of the of the western gods western gods and and the reason why he lives there is because he is he has a twin sister who who she feels insecure and she doesn't even know the like her past life the only thing that's keeping her from that is my is, is my is my original character. Does um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but they are not from Anarian. They were adopted by the by the Anarian queen, queens of queen of Anarian. I'm not gonna say the name. I I already know the name, but I'm not gonna say it. You know, personal stuff. Out. Both him and him and his sister are not from Anaria. Reason why, like I said, they were adopted by the first by the Queen of Anaria. And because also because of that is that uh, my original character he is very cunning. He is very strategic. He knows how to. He knows every. He knows every. He knows every rule. Every tactic in the military book. Just, he just grabs a book, just flips it, and then he and then he just grabs and he just knows it. His, he has a very powerful memory. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> and uh, what do you call it? One of the most terrifying thing he, he did is that um, he had this sword, he had this weapon. It's, you know, why is it always about a sword and stuff? Well, actually, it's not just a sword, but it's the guard, the guard, the the sword guard, like you know that, like the suba. Yeah, basically, um, basically, it was called the royal seal. And the reason why it's called the Royal Seal is because it contains power, power that rivals anyone, anyone that is ancient, anyone that is more ancient than Odin, Zeus, um, Ra, Osiris, Isis, Horus, Izana Izanami, Izanagi, Bahamut, Titan, everyone. Like any, like any of the gods, including any of the gods of the Bi of the Bible. <sighs> the reason why it's the reason why it's called the royal seal is because only through royal blood, only through royal blood can control the power. And everybody wanted to grab it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants to have that power so that they can actually become higher than the other. But there's only one. But there's only one person standing in the way, which is my blue hair guy and and I know what you guys are thinking oh, I'm guessing he's special he's like what he's like worthy and stuff well actually he is but he is more like he's more like a guardian because the because the reason why because the reason why he is using the royal seal as a suba as the sword guard is because the only thing that is containing containing and keeping that power inside is the blade is the blade is the blade the handle the handle the leather and the strap and the uh, design and the designs because all of them all of them were created by the dead deities what do you call it? because what do you call it? because because what do you call it? they were all created by the dead gods and goddesses blue hair the blue hair guy killed and it's actually a really huge sacrifice, um, which 
really huge sacrifice because he had to control it. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I want to keep talking, but no. I don't want. To, I don't want. To, I don't. I don't want. I don't want someone to steal my idea. So yeah. So I'm gonna talk about another different book. Since first sub since first semester, I made this funny comic before the Avengers Infinity War. Basically, it's SpongeBob as it's basically SpongeBob as Captain America and Squidward as Thanos. Here it is, and I wanted to do that uh, that funny meme of. Like that article about saying like uh, Marvel was Marvel was planning on was planning on putting uh, what do you call like what do you call they were planning on they were planning on having they were planning on having um, Ant Man Ant Man go inside of Thanos's ass and bro <laughs> I try to do that sh try to try to put that into my uh, into that into that funny comic. that I wanted to create stories. Stories that I can that I can relate, stories that I can create a huge impact to other people, teaching them, showing them, and giving them something to feel on. And what I really like about it is that um, to my own personal experience, when you're making a story, you don't want to make it like, oh, it's too, it has too many loopholes. It has too many loopholes, and it has too many exaggeration in it. No. To me, I wanted to make it... I wanted to make it sense. Because, like, oh, and again, I wanted to have experience. Because before I make... Before you make the story, you have to have experience of the character, of what they do. Well, how did they do it? How did they do this and that, what kind of procedure, what kind of style, what kind of practice, what kind of exercise, and what kind of, like, what kind of history, like, what kind of history is, of it, are they teaching that to, are they teaching? I met I met people I met artists who makes their own original characters. Whenever I asked what kind of character they created, their character they created their character with like their story. So many loopholes, so many copyrights, so many so many stories that they watch or read from a comic, manga, anime, or even movie, and they copy that idea to their own, saying it is theirs. That's what takes me off. I mean, it's like, you can't just say you can't just say it's your idea. Just because you watch it from a TV series, a movie, anime, animated series, or comic, manga, or a story you read, and you can't just simply copy the idea, thinking it is like, oh, oh, this. Oh, the plot! Oh, the plot is so good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it for myself, and just say it's, it's my, it's, it's, it's my, it's my idea. No, you can't do that. It's selfish. It's selfish, and it's dumb. It's really dumb. And the reason why I say this is because. Whenever someone, whenever someone tries to create a character, 
they wanted to create it more more impossible they wanted to create it more dangerous more ugh. and even after they created it they even tried to copy a story from another and i told them i told them you can't do that you can't simply copy a character or a storyline and put it into your own and put it into your own your own story or or you can't even just and you can't just say like oh your character is impossible he's impossible what does that mean that word impossible how impossible are they how impossible how impossible are they supposed to be how dangerous are they supposed to be how heroic how powerful are they supposed to be that's the question. That's the same answer. They're just powerful. What the fuck does that mean? This doesn't make any sense. And yes, I, I get this. I get the. I get the answer. They start to say they hate me. I'm bullying them, but no. If I was bullying them, I would be rude, and I would not be friends with them in the first place. <sighs> because you know one, you need to have a story, a plot, conclusion, a theme, and the biggest twist of all time. You can't just simply just say like, oh, he has a brother, oh, he has a brother, he has another brother, he has a twin. That's what, that's utter bullshit. Other, utter bullshit. that over my hands are over here there's a coin over there and there's no way I knocked it over or even if I'd move the table I'm just you know laying here There's another one here, and I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna eat it today. I'm just gonna eat it. I'll just eat it tomorrow. Ah, sorry. Anyways, I'm doing okay. Like I said, after I digest, I'll eat. I'll eat something healthy. So yeah, and I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do my homework because tomorrow I have a final. So yeah. Anyways, take care, guys. Love you guys. This is Kamikaze. This is Kamikaze Tater number one two three. Have a good day. Please, please, please like, subscribe, and please follow my Instagram. My Instagram is at Troy. My Instagram is at. My Instagram is at Tracy Yukine. Yeah, and thank you guys. Love you and bye.